Hello viewers, I discuss today this idea of bounded variations on an interval. At first, uh, we define as a function on the interval, specific closed interval, and then we take the partitions on it. And segment wise, we partitioned these uh, functions defined on this all uh, interval AB, and this interval particularly if we consider like this A and B and we take the several partitions like this and if we are taking like the point if we are taking uh, on this point uh, like this uh, x equals to this point is equals to x0 if we say then certainly it will be x1 another is x2 in this manner we are finally getting the point of xn in this manner and uh, correspondingly we are getting this uh, result of f of x n and in this way we find uh, some pictorial uh, result and representations all these type of specific representations and certainly then the arbitrary length is defined actually all these type of uh, result and it will show a curve whatsoever the curve is uh, like this this point here it is f of x 0 and if we consider it as f of x 1 in this manner here it is f of x 2 and here it is uh, uh, finally f of x n in this way now let's construct our uh, definitions part for the part of definition of bounded variation let we are specifically f be defined on this particular interval that is a closed interval a b and if we take this partition like p and all this point x1 x0 x1 to up to xn x0 x1 up to xn is a partition and this partition of a b and if we write it writing it as delta f of k k is arbitrarily defined that's a variable result k is 1 2 3 4 we are getting this variation f of x k minus f of x k minus 1 and getting this result here for k is equal to 1 2 up to n and if there exist a positive positive number if say this m such that it's a bounded figure we are taking summation k is equal to 1 to up to n mod of delta f k that will be less than equals to n for all partition of a b then we can say or f is said to be of bounded variation or dv whatever may be the shortly abbreviated bounded variation in this interval a b so in this way we construct our definitions of bounded variations a function is defined on this particular interval a b and pictorially at first we represent it this partition or this of this result and this partition certainly we are taking this interval like delta of f k that's a change of this interval there's a functional value changes this is called the variations and we are changing these variations and taking a constant there's a bounded figure we are getting this result this is ultimate definitions of bounded variations 
now let us consider interesting result very very interesting uh, we may treat uh, it as a theorem part maybe a considered as a theorem if f is monotonic and this monotonic on ab then f is of bounded variations or uh, bv on ab then how to prove this result at first if we are taking the part of this let a be increasing then for every partition for every partition of ab we have del of fk that is a non negative and hence summation k is equal to 1 to up to n mod of delta fk and that will be summation k is equal to 1 to up to n delta fk if we are uh, breaking this value for k equals to 1 to up to n that is f of xk minus f of xk minus 1 and certainly if we are breaking this result of f of x1 minus f of x0 in this way plus f of x2 minus f of x1 plus up to f of it is f of x n minus f of x n minus 1 and certainly all are cancelled finally we find f of x n minus f of x 0 and this result will be certainly x n point will be a b minus f a we are getting this result which imply summation k is 1 to up to n mod of f of k and certainly that will be less than equals to m where we can take a b minus f is bounded function that is less than equals to m hence the proof so we end our discussions here if you like this video like it share it and always subscribe the channel thank you